You know, the, the, we see a lot of, of patients with spinal conditions, um, such as degenerative conditions of the spine uh, that develop from wear and tear over the years. So that typically involves um, disc degeneration. The discs are the natural shock absorbers of the spine. And as we get older, our discs can start to wear out. We can develop disc herniations or disc degeneration, and that can cause significant pain or the disc herniations can impinge upon the spinal cord or the nerve roots that emanate from the spinal cord. And when conservative measures fail, we typically do surgery for that. Uh, so we do surgery in the neck area. Uh, we do surgery in the mid part of the spine, so called the thoracic spine. And we do surgery in the lumbar spine, the lower back as well. Those surgeries involve something as simple as uh, lumbar discectomy surgeries just to remove a small portion of the disc. Uh, or sometimes it involves an operation to widen the spinal canal to give the nerve roots more room when they're compressed. Um, and then we do a lot of operations uh, called fusion surgeries to stabilize vertebra or to correct a deformity when a, de a deformity of the spinal column has developed. On occasion, we can remove discs and replace discs with artificial discs. That's called motion preserving artificial disc replacement. Uh, we also uh, treat in neurosurgery other conditions of the spinal column, such as tumors of the spinal column. Uh, we can see cancer spread to the spinal column that sometimes requires removal and stabilization. That sometimes requires extensive surgery to remove whole vertebra that have been affected uh, by cancer and stabilization procedures that involve hardware, such as screws and rods that we implant to stabilize certain segments. Uh, we also treat uh, conditions that affect the spinal cord. So we treat patients who have tumors of the spinal cord or tumors around the spinal cord. And those are um, incredibly intricate oper operations that we do with the use of the operative microscope to very gently tease away um, uh, tumors from the spinal cord or uh, tumors that are intrinsic to the spinal cord to try to prevent further neurological impairment. I also see a number of patients with brain conditions. I see patients with brain tumors uh, that uh, occasionally require um, a brain tumor surgery and, um, and uh, tumor resections as well. Thank and you. then we also see patients who've had traumatic injuries to the, both the brain and spinal cord, um, patients who are victims of motor vehicle accidents or other accidents, direct trauma to the brain, direct trauma to the spine that require surgery. Thank you.